In the realm of semiconductor investment, Malaysia stands as a beacon of success and innovation, drawing global attention for its strategic positioning and favorable business environment. The country controls 13% of the global market for packaging, assembly and testing services for semiconductors and is the world's sixth largest exporter. The electrical and electronics sector comprises about 7% of Malaysia's GDP. But how did Malaysia become a leader in chip making? The journey towards becoming a preferred destination for semiconductor investment began with astute foresight and proactive measures rooted in the early establishment of Malaysia as a thriving chip manufacturing hub. Integral to this narrative is the pivotal role played by Intel, whose entry into Malaysia in the 1970s catalyzed a transformative journey marked by sustained growth and prosperity. Through a combination of enticing incentives such as tax breaks, access to affordable labor, an English-proficient workforce, and strategic proximity to shipping ports, Malaysia paved the way for Intel's historic decision to establish its first overseas factory in Penang in 1972. This laid the groundwork for other companies to follow suit, turning the Southeast Asian nation into a promising destination for chip manufacturing. However, the emergence of giants like Samsung and Taiwan Semiconductor's manufacturing company led to Malaysia ceding ground in the 1990s to Taiwan and South Korea. But through the years, the country has seen a steady influx of tech companies, each contributing to the growth and development of its semiconductor industry. From these humble beginnings, Malaysia has grown into a formidable player in the global chip manufacturing industry. The Rise of Malaysia in the Global Chip War the ongoing global chip war has significantly shifted the landscape of chip manufacturing, and Malaysia is emerging as the current leader as countries vie for control of chip supply and production. This competition is fueled by the United States' efforts to curb China's access to chip technology, sending shockwaves through the industry and prompting manufacturers to seek alternative production bases. With such significant investments, Malaysia's position in the global chip manufacturing industry is indeed solidifying. The shift to advanced processes While Malaysia started with low-tech assembly work, the country is now transitioning to more advanced processes. Malaysia aims to advance its position by emphasizing diversification in its production. Consequently, the country seeks to expand its semiconductor sector beyond assembly and testing, focusing on higher value-added activities like wafer fabrication and integrated circuit design. Recently, the country has seen major investments by Intel, 7 billion US dollars, and Texas Instruments, 3.1 billion US dollars to engage in more complex manufacturing activities. Intel's 7 billion US dollars expansion will include the construction of an advanced 3D chip packaging facility, the first overseas facility for 3D chip packaging. This move marks a significant shift towards higher-end manufacturing in Malaysia, a complex process that requires a high level of precision and expertise. The semiconductors market in Malaysia is projected to grow by 9.1% from 2024 to 2027, resulting in a market volume of 22 billion US dollars in 2027. This shift towards more advanced processes is a clear sign of Malaysia's evolving role in the chip industry. The role of diplomacy and future prospects. Malaysia's diplomatic stance of active neutrality plays a major role in attracting investments from both the US and China. This strategic positioning allows the country to maintain cordial relations with both of these superpowers. Chinese firms looking to evade potential US sanctions find establishing operations in Malaysia an appealing proposition. Similarly, the US values Malaysia's substantial chip exports, further solidifying its strategic position in the global semiconductor industry. However, this delicate balancing act comes with its own set of challenges. There are questions about the sustainability of Malaysia's strategy. Playing both sides in the US-China rivalry could potentially lead to complications down the line. The country may find itself caught in the crossfire of geopolitical tensions, with its chip manufacturing sector hanging in the balance. Besides, the geopolitics issues, Malaysia is grappling with shortage of talent, the semiconductor sector faces a critical shortage of skilled talent and experiences significant employee turnover. The industry requires around 50,000 electrical and electronics engineers annually, contributing to a broader deficit of 1.2 million workers nationwide, spanning manufacturing, construction, and palm oil sectors. 
In addition, many engineers and technicians opt for higher paying opportunities in Singapore, with average monthly salaries in Malaysian manufacturing falling at 2200 ringgit, US dollar 469, compared to Singapore dollar 2000, US dollar 1495. Similarly, engineering graduates earn less than 3000 ringgit, US dollar 640 monthly. This talent drain exacerbates Malaysia's workforce challenges, hindering the semiconductor industry's growth and competitiveness. Malaysia also faces competition from neighboring countries like Thailand, Indonesia, the Philippines, Singapore, and Vietnam in the semiconductor sector. The rising manufacturing capabilities, skilled labor force, and favorable government policies within ASEAN could potentially shape other region into a semiconductor production hub. However, despite facing challenges, Malaysia's strategic location at the heart of Southeast Asia, coupled with favorable government policies, continues to attract foreign chip makers, maintaining its position as one of the top three semiconductor production hub. That where we end our video today. Thanks for watching.